Hello, Katia. Hello, teacher. Are you back from Peru? Yes, yes. I am in my house. <laughs> All right. How is Peru? It's beautiful, but it's too cold. <laughs> really? It's very cold? Yes. Cold. All day or in like in all of Peru or some parts? Um, most um, in Cusco. Okay. I I was in in, per, in Lima, Peru, mm -hmm. but Cusco is too cold. Okay, Cusco is like the most tourist attraction of Peru, correct? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, Coldplay was in concert there, correct? Mm, I I don't know. Yeah, I think I saw that they were in concert. Mm, okay. And um, did you go for business or pleasure? Only for pleasure, because oh. my birthday, my birthday, <laughs> yeah. I was, I, I. It was celebrating. Happy birthday. So you went to Peru for how many days? Eight days. Eight. Excuse me for the question. Is it expensive to travel to Peru? Like with the but with the airplane ticket, the hotels and the tourist attraction? It was a um a packet. A packet. A package. A package in um Esquitus named the the Travel agents, agency, mm -hmm. and it was. I think it was expensive, but um, um, could be more expensive. Yes. It was uh, one thousand. No, one uh, three mil trescientos. How do you say? One thousand three hundred. Go thousand three hundred. Or you can say thirteen hundred. <laughs> Yes. I have a question, and that's that includes airplane, hotel, hotel yes, airplane, hotel, food, and, and the attraction, the train, the train, and the, the enters to the archaeologists, sitios archaeologicos. Okay, it's, it's not bad. No, no, it's not bad. And breakfast. Only I have to pay uh, lunch and dinner. Yeah, but I imagine if you're in a different country, you want to eat in the street, you know, not in a hotel. Yes, in the street. <clears throat> Interesting. So that's for one person. Yes, only for one person. Interesting. I like that. It looks sounds nice. And this agency uh, will go again to Peru in November. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And um, are there cheaper? Like I imagine Argentina is more expensive. I think so. Or Chile. Okay. Hello, class. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Hi, class. Hi, teacher. How are Hi. you? How, how is everyone today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Milton. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. Good weekend. You? And weekends mm, is good for uh, Independence Day. Was was very 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 good. It was interesting. A, it was interesting. A, a long weekend. Yes, a long four 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 days, three mm. days. Very nice. Yes, you know what? Yes, I think I think Independence Day was very interesting. I was, I actually, I was expecting violence, but good, no violence. 
Yes, no violence. No, no that, and that's very good. But, you know, I was expecting because you know how people are. You know, like those days they take advantage. Se aprovechan. You know, and like, like, ah, and the manifestations and this and that. But it was good. It was a good happy day today. Happy weekend. Happy weekend, yes. All right, welcome class. Thanks, teacher. Here, let me share my screen with you, hold on. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, all right cool. Let's listen to this yes, video. Let's see, there will be class Friday, correct, class? Yes. Yeah, so remember, we will have class the five days this week. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Tell me. Welcome if, back. We have studied this topic before, yes. but today we'll get deeper into it. Get ready. Yes. Simple and complex indirect questions. Simple indirect questions use a statement word order and begin with expressions such as I wonder, I would like to know, or I can't understand. Will I be able to get a taxi later? I wonder if I'll be able to get a taxi later. Complex indirect questions also use a statement word order. In addition, they begin and end with clauses or phrases with be. Will I be able to get into the class? My big concern is whether I'll be able to get into the class. How can anyone afford them? How anyone can afford them is beyond me. When we talk about simple indirect questions, we use a statement of word order. Instead of a direct question, will you help me? It changes to, you will help me. But of course, we need to add an expression to make it an indirect question. Some expressions may be, I wonder, I like to know, I can't understand, among many others. So let's add one expression to what we previously had. I'd like to know, you will help me. Notice we left a blank space. That is because we need to use if or whether because the direct question was a yes, no question. So this is the final simple indirect question. I'd like to know if, whether you will help me. As said on the chart, complex indirect questions also follow a statement word order, but they either begin or end with expressions or phrases with be. We want you to type some examples on our discussion box. Remember to put into practice what you have just learned. Because the direct question... Okay, do you see this expressions? Do you know what is expression, I wonder? Mm. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, hmm, I wonder. I wonder if it will rain tomorrow. Yes? That would be that would be an indirect question because the direct question would be, will it rain tomorrow? Yes or no? Do you understand? Yes, For yes. Repeat, please, teacher. Repeat. Okay, let's do I wonder. Yes. Milton, imagine, yes. imagine. Imagine you s imagine, okay, this is imagine there's a beautiful woman and you see her every day. And she's very beautiful, but you always see her alone. After work, before work, she's always alone. So you say, hmm, I wonder if she is married. Mm, I wonder if, if I wonder if. 
she is married. Because that would be indirect, because the direct would be, hey, is she married? Or, excuse me, ma'am, are you married? That's yes or no. But if you want to add some indirect, it's I wonder if she's married. But it's necessary that the I, I question for, for her. No necessary. No, because remember, indirect questions you you ask with an expression. I would like to know, I can't understand. For example. Uh, I would like to know if, who can give me an example with, I would like to know if. I would like to know is uh, another country. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look, I have a debit card and I go to the Mercado Central. Hey, do they accept credit cards? So you say, excuse me, ma'am. I'd like to know if you accept credit cards. Um, I'm sorry, okay. debit cards. Debit. Gustaría saber si? That's indirect. There's really no difference because the direct question would be, excuse me, ma'am, do you accept debit cards? Mm, I like it's indirect. Mm -hmm. I would like to know. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know, okay. Me gustaría saber si es posible también. You know that expression? Yeah. Teacher. Yes. I call that this this kind of expression of expressions was a, a pretty polite to say something. To yes. Someone. You know, today I will be honest with you. Today I use the expression I'd like to know. Because we ordered we ordered pollo campero today for dinner and there was a special of 30, 30 chicken wings with a big pizza. Okay. Yes. Cool. And my wife asked me, mira, I put said 15 chicken wings and 15 chunks. And I said, I don't know. So on the phone, I asked the person, excuse me, I'd like to know if I can have 15 wings and 15 chunks. Yeah, and like you said, it's more polite. Okay. Mm -hmm. More direct is, hey, hey, can you give me 15 chunks and 50, 50 wings? That's direct, yes or no. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I, I asked the person because he was very nice to me on the phone. And I said, excuse me, I'd like to know if, if I can have 15 this, that's a 15 decades. And he said, yes, yes, you can. Okay. Or excuse me, I can't understand. Will you explain to me, please? Like when I go to the doctor, I always do that. Excuse me, I can't understand. Can you please explain again in baby language? Okay, do you understand? Yes. 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 Yeah, so let's see. I like to know. So let's do the knowledge check. <clears throat> it says, re excuse me. It says, rewrite these questions using the words in parentheses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. For example, how can I get tickets to sold out concerts? I want to find out. The answer is, I want to find out how I can get tickets to sold out concerts. Number one, will airlines ever stop losing passengers luggage? What was the question? I wonder. Uh-huh. I wonder what? I wonder if airline will ever 
stop losing passenger luggage. Okay, good. Yes. You know, that's one thing I will never understand about airlines. How difficult is, if you take 100 people, how difficult is to put the 100 people's luggage in the airplane? They're always, there's always problems with the luggage. Okay, number two, it says, how do I correct a mistake on my phone bill? I'd like to know how. Uh, I I'd like to know I correct a mistake on my on my phone bill. Yes. Yes. I like to know how I correct a mistake on my phone bill. Um, going back to what Sergio Herrera says, imagine you're paying an insurance, un seguro, y quiere agregar una persona. Cuando llama al seguro, usted no dice. ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? Sí, quiero agregar otra persona a mi seguro. No, diría, sí, me gustaría saber cómo puedo agregar otra persona a mi seguro. Lo hace por educación, just to be more polite, like Sergio said. <clears throat> so, for example, how do I correct a mistake on my phone bill? I like to know how I correct a mistake on my phone bill. Number three, it says, why can't why can't I use my cell phone in an elevator? What is the answer? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, the thing I don't get is why I can use my cell phone in a elevator. Yes. The thing I don't get is why I can't use my cell phone in an elevator. It's like one thing I don't understand, why can't I use my cell phone in a bank? Remember before you couldn't use a, a cell phone? Yes. Now you can, you can't make a call, but you can be on your cell phone. But before you couldn't even look at your cell phone. I never understood why. Me too. Mm -hmm. No, number four, how can I get tickets to sold out concerts? What is the answer? I want to, I find, want to out find out how I, how can, get, I can, can get, get tickets ticket to sold out to concerts. concerts. Good. Now it says here, when will the government deal with global warning, warming? I like to know when the government will deal with the government. warning. Mm -hmm. With global warming, good, warming. So I like to know when the government will deal with global warming. Why do people complain so much? Is something I can't understand. Why people complain so much is something I can't understand. Why people complain so much? That's happening right now in El Salvador. Remember before, all oh, the Mareros, they're violent, they're violent. Now, all the Mareros are in jail. Oh my God, they're innocent. Yes. <laughs> So I will never understand why people complain. I can understand, yes. Yes. I will example. No, I do understand if maybe one or two is not innocent and it happens, but eventually it will, but you know. Oh no, they're innocent. Hmm. Okay, so can you tell me one thing you can't understand, Sergio, in, in everyday life? Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, um, uh, something I can't understand is why, 
pharmacies have uh, discovered the cure for or a treatment for for COVID and not for cancer. Yes, it's true. Why haven't? Yeah, I, there is something I can understand. Yes, it's true. Have you seen the movie um, Dallas Buyers Club? Uh, I'm not sure. It's with um, Matthew McConaughey. Oh. And the, Jared Leto. The, the, ¿Cómo se dice premiado? Award winning. The award winning of the Oscars. <clears throat> yeah, that movie is very, very, very good. Yes. I have to, to, to see. <clears throat> Maybe that movie. explains a little why there's no cure for cancer. Because in the movie, he gets AIDS. See that? In the 80s. And this is a true story. And he gets AIDS. Que sida. And um, he went crazy. Like, oh, my God, what do I do? And he discovered that there was a doctor that he had a good, a good option for AIDS. See that? But the minister of health took his license away. Really? So he stopped being a doctor and he moved to Mexico. This doctor moved to Mexico. So in the movie, Matthew McConaughey goes to Mexico frequently to get the medicine. Oh, really? And then he started coming back to the United States, selling that medicine to people who have AIDS. And it was working until the government discovered him and they stopped. So in pocas palabras, the government controls that. Hmm. It's, it's, it's almost like a, a, this, this, this guy, Frank Suarez. Frank, mm -hmm. Frank Suarez uh, was a man that had a YouTube channel uh, called uh, Metabolismo TV in which uh, he talked and in 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 and teached uh, about the the better way to uh, cure our bodies by ourselves uh, oh. only taking care of, uh, uh, what we eat what we introduce in our, in our organism and YouTube and, closed this channel. Yeah, and was um, he died in a mister in a mystery way. Mysterious ways. Oh, okay. Mysterious way. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> mm -hmm. But when you have the chance, you should watch that movie. It's very, very good. I I really like that movie. Some people said that he discovered a way to cure the um, diabetes. Oh, really? Yeah. Frank Suarez, you can... Uh, yes, you uh, know what? I, I will check him tonight. In Google. Yeah, I will read about him. Thank you. Okay. So let me see. Alex, Jacko, give me one thing. Give me, ask me something. I wonder. I wonder. Okay. I wonder if... In the next, um, no, I wonder, I wonder if the president win the next uh, um, elections. Come say yeah, elections. Yeah, I wonder if the elections. president. I wonder if the president will win. I wonder, I. No, I wonder if the, the president. president Will win will the will winner will win the next election. Okay. Yeah, good question. Maybe if the elections were today, <laughs> yes, he will win. If the elections were today, yes. But I don't know in one year from now. So FMLN and Arena tienen un año to invent yes. 
to invent a good yeah, strategy. All right, good. Okay. I wonder if. Oh, okay. Here's another example. You know, I have a neighbor, and I really don't know who he is, because he lives in in the houses that you see on the top. The problem is that the echo. This man, he has been drinking Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And he's drinking today because you can hear him. He plays this horrible, horrible music. Wow. Like, oh man, like cowboy music. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know that music with requintos, the, 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 the primo chomo type of music? <laughs> full <laughs> volume, full volume. <laughs> and he, he sings all day. And he sings, da, 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 da. he sings like Bad Bunny. And I tell mm -hmm. my wife, I wonder if he's sick. <laughs> because he drinks a lot. <laughs> yes. All yeah. right. Um, Marielos, can you give me an example using I wonder? JJ, can you give me an example using I wonder? Hey, uh, let me. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, I wonder if the uh, class in um, online, I wonder if the class online are um, most. Um, competencias and more competent than the class presential or presential class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. All right. I wonder, sometimes I wonder if Mauricio Funes sleeps well. <laughs> if he sleeps well. Do you understand my, my question? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because he can pretend like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm innocent and, and I'm protected. But inside, he knows he is in trouble. And he knows he is in big trouble. And he knows his only, his only, his only hope is the president of Nicaragua. If there's no president, he's in trouble. So I wonder how he sleeps at night. Does he sleep comfortable or does he go crazy? Like, oh my God, oh my God. One day they will catch me. One day they will catch me. Como el fugitivo, you know, like, oh, they will catch me one day, one day, one day. Hmm. All right, good. Let's do the next. I wonder if jo Scarlett Johansson thinks about me. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. In this lesson, participants will learn. We'll talk about negative feelings. Negative feelings. Let's see what negative feelings are. What we're talking about here. Hello. Pay attention to the following vocabulary. It will help you express negative feelings. Annoyed baffled, confused, demoralized, depressed, discouraged, enraged, frustrated, humiliated, infuriated, insulted, irritated, mystified, saddened, stunned, Complete the following sentences with your own information. Number one, I always get discouraged when. Number two, I sometimes feel depressed when. Insulted, irritated. Class, um, do you know, do you know how to use get? Get or get. No, the, the verb get, G-E-T. What is get? Obtener. 
Can you give me an example? Um, I get my, I will get my degree one day. Okay. We have the name of the on there. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Irena. You're welcome. Who, who else? Who else can give me an example with get? I get. Oh, I got the flu. I got the flu. Sería conseguí la flu. Like a phrase, Albert? No. What about if I say I get married? Conseguir yes. la esclavitud. Ayer no es conseguir, right? No, es me casé. Uh -huh. So let me explain get. Y se lo voy a explicar lo más fácil posible, porque hay mucha gente que dice, me cae mal ese verbo. Mira, que ese verbo puede ser conseguir, agarrar, enfermarte, casarte, olvidarte, divorciarte. Puede ser todos los verbos que existen. No. Get is only two things. Well, three. Number one is conseguir o agarrar algo. Yes, get money. Hey, I need to get money for for the for the weekend. Correct. Yes. Number two is here. Please get the baby. Get the baby. I need to go to the bathroom. Agarra, get the baby. Or when somebody knocks the door, you know, like, please get the door. It's like open the door? Yes. Oh, imagine the phone ring, ring. Hey, can you get the phone, please? I let the telephone. Okay. So get is two things. Well, three, I'm sorry. Es conseguir o obtener algo. And number two, Cuando es get con un adjetivo, es un cambio de estado. For example, le decimos a married. What is married? Cambio de estado. Casado. 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 Yeah? Married is casado o casada. So, uh, uh, for example, Irena, you, are, you have a boyfriend, right? Yes. But he's your boyfriend. He's not your husband. Yes. He's your boyfriend. Yes, he's my boyfriend. Okay. Do you think you're going to get married someday? You, you can invent. Say yes or no. Yes. Okay, good. Porque le dije someday. You're going to get married someday. Because obviously Irena in this moment is single. So what is the change? Single to married. But eso se usa get. When you say get in an adjective, is you change, you change of stage. And you can use, for example, I get sick. Exactly, yes. If you're not sick in this moment, you know, you're okay. But, oh, no, you know, today in my office, everybody was sick. Maybe I'm going to get sick, too. Okay. Um, Sirham, hello, sir. Hello. Sirham, what happens if you drink 15 beers? I'm very, very drunk. I'm... I, I get. I get drunk. I get drunk. Yes. So that means in this moment, you are sober. In this moment, you are sober. But... but. If you drink 10, 15 beers, you get drunk. Yes? Yes. All right. Hello, Mr. Miguel Angel. 
Hello. I have a question for you. When, when do you get angry? Because I, I can't imagine you getting angry, but. Uh, angry. Uh, yeah. I know you're not an angry person, but everybody gets angry sometimes. When do you get angry? I get angry when uh, I watch an injustice because I angry because it's uh, impotent and uh, I don't know uh, can the, the chance that situation Okay, I can't change. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Marielos, are you there? Yes, teacher. Marielo, when do you get happy? Oh, um, I get happy when I am uh, resting on weekend. Good. I get happy when I rest on the weekends. Good. Okay, class. So, do you understand what is get now? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. So, when you see get with an adjective, remember, no es conseguir ni agarrar, es cambio de estado. Get to embrace our verb. No, it's not a phrasal verb. No, no, because a phrasal verb is a verb and a preposition. Okay. This is get with an adjective. Excuse me? And the third one? Get on or get out or get up. No, that is a preposition. Okay. Uh, that, that is a phrasal verb, but remember, on, in, and out, those are not adjectives. Those are preposition. Okay. Preposition, okay. So I'm saying when it's when it's an adjective. I'm sorry, I can dijo the third one confused. Excuse me? I can dijo the third. Somebody doesn't understand confused? Me teacher. I I I heard that you said that uh, the first one is uh, get something or tener algo. The number two is uh, get plus an adjective. I'm not sure what's the number three. Oh, uh, okay. Number one is obtener. conseguir algo. Uh -huh. Obtener o conseguir algo. Number two is agarrar algo. Yes? Yes. Number three is get an adjective. Yes, sir. So those are the three uses of get. For example, I don't like Star Wars movies. I get confused. <laughs> I don't like science fiction movies. I don't like movies like The Matrix. Why? Because I get confused. Too many, too many things like, shh, shh. you know, I, 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 I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so everybody that, tell me. Uh, do you get depressed? Does anybody here ever get depressed? Depressed, uh, like uh, depression? Yes. But you know, like it doesn't have to be so extremely like, oh, I am depression in a suicide mode. Like for example, <laughs> I get depressed when my son gets very sick. Okay. I don't know why I get sad and I get depressed because when I see him, I feel sad. No, maybe depressed is not the word. Maybe it's worried. I get very worried when my son is sick. And I get sick. I don't know if it happens to you. Yes. To me, yes. Because I feel bad. And mm -hmm. I can do all the activities that 
I, I do always well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Okay, when do you... Sara, oh no, Sara never gets sad. <laughs> I remember. Sara, when do you get angry? Uh, I I get angry when when um uh, when everybody uh, when my husband can't buy a present or yeah. <laughs> Wait, but when he can't buy or when he doesn't buy? Sorry, when he doesn't buy. A present. A present, yeah. Like, let's say it's your birthday and he doesn't buy you anything and you get angry. Yes. <laughs> For any moment. Why? He forgets? Um. No, because when I... When I, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, but when I get some, some things, I ask, I ask him, uh, you, you can buy my, another cell phone or I don't know, some, Something. Something, yeah. Okay. I get angry when I'm cooking and people go into my kitchen. Really? Why? Yes. I don't know, because when I'm cooking, I like the kitchen for me only. Well, my kitchen is very small, but in, in particularly, I like, you know, like, for example, when I'm cooking, then somebody invents to wash the dishes or I don't know to to open the refrigerator I or somebody invents to do something it's like I am cooking the kitchen was empty all day <laughs> and now that I start cooking everybody wants to use the kitchen I don't know I get angry oh they start looking it <laughs> like oh man no 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, everybody has a pila, a thing, you know, it's a thing. All right. So, do you understand get now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. What happens, Jacko, what happens if you eat five tortillas in this moment? Mm, I get uh, you get full, no? Yeah, I it's, it's normally. Yeah. Oh, it's normal. <laughs> it's, it's, it's normally it's all day. <laughs> you eat five five tortillas? No. <laughs> only two or okay, or only one. two. Yeah, but my question is what happens if you eat five? Oh, my stomach is hard. So you get, you get, maybe you get sick, maybe you get full. Yes, I get sick. I get sick, probably sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's, that's what happens. I probably get sick. I probably get full. Pero hay gente que se come como seis, siete tortillas. When you go to comedores. Egg tortillas. Yeah. With soap, the vines. Eight tortillas. Eight tortillas. Oh my god. No problem. <laughs> In the weekend. With how many pupusas do you get full? Six or seven. Six or seven. <laughs> Six or seven. <laughs> how old are you, Miguel? <laughs> I I don't problem with it. No, but how old are you? Oh, sorry, how old are you? How old are you? Oh, that's a very basic question, Miguel. How old are you? 
He's uh, 41. You're yes. 41? Yes. And you can eat April pupusas? Oh, man, your metabolism is great. Yes. I, I can uh, go to bathroom three occasion in a, a day. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, yeah, that was that was a lot of no problem. <laughs> That's explanation. Thank you for your explanation. Too much explanation. <laughs> Too much comments. Four one one a simple existed. Four one one or one one four. I don't know. Do you remember that telephone number? Oh yes. Remember it? What number? Y siempre daban el equivocado. No, it's 114, one, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't. 114. Uh -huh. one, one, a long, long time ago, uh -huh. very long time ago. Yeah. Like, hey, ¿cuál es el número de, de Pollo Campero? No sé. Someone. You called 114? Uh -huh. That's just por llamar. Yeah. Uh -huh. Si me puede el número de, de Pollo ah. Campero. Uh -huh. I think it's still working no, i think no. but i'm not no, sure i don't no, think so i don't think so yeah i'm oh, going you know, i'm going to call tomorrow just to make sure <laughs> cool. but you know what you know one thing i never i never understood they were fast because you could say can i have the phone number to the san nicolas pharmacy sí, claro, son dos, dos, cuatro, sí, sí. like immediately they were faster than google Okay, I can imagine like Pollo Campero, you know, everybody knows the Pollo Campero number. But if like, me puede dar el número del hospital, de, no, de la farmacia, Las Tres Marías, de Santa Tecla, sí, con gusto, es 246, They were like, they never said, give me one second, let me just find out. No, they immediately, y hasta paja puede ser, but no, it was right. It was the right number. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do the next part. Reading exercise, read the article, then read the events that are written for you. Number the events in the correct order. Let me read the article for you, okay? Well, Okay, listen, every year, more than 300,000 brides in the UK go shopping for the perfect gown to help make their wedding a perfect day. We caught up with fur furious brides who would like to ask Vema and Robert Davis, the people who run the It's Your Day wedding shop, in Thornbury, England, why they didn't get their dresses in time or at all. Do you have questions in this? In this? So imagine 300,000 brides, and many of them are angry because Robert Davis, he runs, uh, he runs a store, que se llama Day Wedding Shop. And they get angry because they never finish the dresses on time. Yes. Yeah. Terrible situation. Yes. Is there something Terrible. similar here? No, right? No. 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 Okay. Heather Molloy paid 650 pounds or euros to the Davises for a deposit on her dress. After her second visit, she realized Verma Davis was not measuring up to her expectations. Heather said, I have, I had several fittings canceled or delayed for different reasons and different excuses. And this went on for a period of time. 
I was worried because I was supposed to pick up my wedding dress two weeks before the wedding. And she said, no, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. The ceremony was planned. The cake was chosen. The guests were inviting, but there was still no wedding dress. Finally, on the night before her wedding, she was supposed to be having dinner with the family and friends. Heather got the call to say her dress would be ready. However, when she got there, the dress still wasn't ready. The Davises promised to work on the dress all night and deliver it first thing in the morning of the big day. Parece que esos Davises son salvadoreños. <laughs> After a sleepless night, Heather had just two hours to go before her wedding dress, and there was still no sign of Davises. Mm -hmm. With only one hour to spare, Heather finally cut her losses. She went to the nearest wedding shop and bought a replacement dress for the rack, off the rack. She never even got refunded on her deposit. We also spoke to Robin Brown, who is getting married two days from now. She didn't know whether or not she would receive her dress on time. So she already bought a replacement. What's more, Rachel Thorpe took the Davises to court after they supplied her with a bodice that was defective and didn't even fit her. We have asked the Davises a statement. Regarding the complaints, but so far they haven't issued one and we're wondering if they will. Why do people contact them? Okay. So let's see the, the order. Heather had to cancel the pre-wedding dinner to pick up the dress. Two was the second thing. So I put here two. Yes. Three. With one hour left to spare, Heather had to purchase the replacement gown. Number four. four. Oh. At their first meeting, Heather gave the Davises a large deposit for her wedding. Number one. one. That's one. But the dress still wasn't ready, even though the wedding was the next day. Three. Number three. Oops, three. Something similar happened to my friend here, but it, it, not with a dress. It happened with a baby shower. She she had made a baby shower in Los Cebollines, and it was a breakfast. Breakfast baby shower. So they rented a the special part of the of the, the of of the restaurant. And it was 8.30, 9, 9.30, and everybody was drinking water. Wow. Yes, yeah, so everybody. I, I was hungry, but I know I knew something was wrong. But, hey, I was invited. <laughs> so. Wow. And, and I remember I was angry because that day it was the Clásico. <laughs> you know, Barcelona and Real Madrid played that day. And I was, oh, my God, man. <laughs> The game was at 11 and it was 9.30 and no breakfast. You know, I was thinking, oh my God, no, but it's be like the media. We finish at 11. I'm not going to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I went to the bathroom and accidentally I passed by the kitchen and I said, hi, look, we are 80 people, like around 70 or 80 people. And um, we are hungry. What happened to the breakfast? 
Sí, caballero, eh, no ha venido la staff. Hmm. Mm, my goodness. It's like, really? You don't have a backup? Like a backup plan? I imagine. So, no, no. Cuando vengan, you know, we'll give you breakfast. Mm. Oh, man. I was angry. I got angry. You see, get. I got angry because the game. And then it was 1030. And I went back and I and I asked the manager, excuse me, it's 1030 a paso una hora. What happened to the staff? It says, look, caballero, si no le parece, se pueden ir a otra sucursal. Mm. Like, now there I got angry. <laughs> so they served <laughs> they served us lunch and not breakfast. Mm. It was a brunch. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a brunch. <laughs> but I went to the next part to watch the game. <laughs> yeah. So, so that serves. Yeah, but you know, sometimes I understand and that accidents happen, but the reaction to an accident is the important part. Yes. You know, like if the manager says, look, I am really, really sorry. We mm -hmm. had something happen, mm -hmm. but, you know, give us options. But no, they, they were very rude. Mm -hmm. So I will never... I will never recommend los cebollinas for that. Yes. Teacher, me too, because I I I have had a bad experiences in the cebollinas restaurant. You too? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I remember oh. the last time I I, I went to a, a restaurant, uh cebollinas restaurant. Uh, I asked for a, a pasta. I remember I didn't want to eat uh, Mexican food. Mm -hmm. and, and if you imagine it's just uh, a, a, um, a, a macarons, no, no, um, uh, eran macarones, spaghetti, macaronis, yeah, macaroni. remember it's macaroni mm -hmm. with spaghetti with, with um, Natura's salsa, mm. wow, only very yeah. acid, oh. very sour. It was like a homemade, oh. homemade, hecho en casa, like a homemade yeah. spaghetti. No, my, my pasta is better. <laughs> so, yes. I, I don't know. Oh, yes. and, and so expensive. And the service of the waitress and the waitress was too bad. And I don't recommend the cebollines. Oh, okay. Now that you say, yeah, I, I wouldn't experience. recommend it. It's a bad experience. I, a... Hear, I hear from the people for other people that they they say the same things about the restaurants oh, okay the maybe, maybe it's bad now maybe that, but you know i i live near los proceres and every time i pass by that civil units is always empty and maybe that's why they're closing down because now i think there's only two but there was another one in, in los Héroes they closed Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, class, then um, we'll continue this tomorrow, okay? We'll start lesson three tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Good. Thanks. Okay, good night, teacher. teacher. All right. Good have night. a very good, good night, class. Good night. Good night, good night everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.